Maddie Lambert and her boyfriend Isaac were a couple of young individuals. They began dating when he was 15 and she was 13. He was their first true boyfriend, and the two never considered the repercussions of their actions. Everything seemed to be going well in their relationship until Maddie's sister's birthday. They'd have been dating for nearly five months when Isaac broke up with her on this day. We will find out what occurred together, so make sure to subscribe and to keep your notifications bell turned on. He indicated that he felt it was best to discontinue the connection because they attended different high schools and he felt things were changing. This revelation broke the 13-year-old's heart because she adored Isaac, and their breakup was heartbreaking for her. She couldn't even leave her house since she was so depressed and unwell. One day, Maddie and her entire family were infected with stomach bugs. The young girl's illness, however, persisted longer than everyone else's. As a result, her mother drove her to the hospital, where her blood was drawn and several tests were performed. When the test results arrived, the family was on vacation. And as her mother called her into the room, Maddie sensed something wasn't quite right, but she wasn't sure what it was. The girl's mother was informed by doctors that her adolescent daughter was roughly 10 weeks pregnant and the news were terrifying for the both of them. Maddie was afraid her mother would be furious, so she repeated apologizing to her. Maddie's mother, however, had a different reaction than she had anticipated. All they have to do now is embrace the future and her mother was there for her despite her dissatisfaction with the circumstance. She noted that her mother's reaction helped her feel more at ease and provided her the fortitude to go through the difficult moment. No one realized Maddie was pregnant for the following few weeks. Her mother, two of her friends, and her stepfather were the only ones who knew she was expecting a child. But this was due to her extreme speltness, and it took some time for her tummy to show. Maddie's ex-boyfriend had the same reaction as she did when she told him she was pregnant. Isaac assumed she was joking and didn't believe her until Maddie's mother confirmed it. The expecting mother received her first ultrasound after 12 weeks of pregnancy. Maddie claims that this was a pivotal time in her life that altered everything. Maddie's pregnancy, on the other hand, was tough. She couldn't eat since her morning sickness was so bad. The baby was underweight and it got worse when she found out she had a heart problem. Nevertheless, unbelievable things were said by some people. Everyone had something to say, and nobody held back. However, even though Maddie had to pass through difficult times, she used the negative feedback she received from internet trolls as motivation to become a better person and mother for her child. When it was the time for Maddie to have her baby, the doctors decided to induce labor after 39 and a half weeks. A procedure that induces childbirth and delivery is known as labor induction. Natural labor is less painful than induced labor. Contractions start slowly in spontaneous labor, although they can start faster and be stronger in induced labor. The doctors gave her an epidural to save her from being in too much agony. Finally, Maddie gave birth to a healthy baby girl after a 12-hour labor. Everly was her name, and she weighed PS6 at birth. She had no medical problems and did not require admission to the NICU. However, Isaac wanted a paternity test after the baby girl was born since he was still unsure if Everly was his daughter. Her mother was angry with him but Everly's parents, on the other hand, have put their issues aside and found a way to co-parent their daughter because they believe it is best for her. Everly, according to Maddie, is the greatest thing that has ever happened to her. She has aided her in her development as a person. Despite having to sell practically everything she owned to buy clothes for her daughter, she and Everly are now in a much better financial position. She has purchased a home. Her four-year-old daughter, on the other hand, is doing well in school.